The week-long tournament came to an end on Sunday, 23rd May 2021, with about 14 teams from different communities in the Kwando municipality who participated in the tournament. The final tournament was between Pando Chakwe and Pando Toko, which Chakwe won. After the tournament, a team was selected to represent the Kwando municipality, which was called the Akwini 11, who faced an ex-Black Stars team. This served as the climax for the tournament and the ex-Black Stars team had the likes of former Black Queens number one goalkeeper Memuna Tussuleman, Godwin Trump, John Pento, among others. In an interview with a member of parliament for Pando de la Soa, this was the rationale behind the tournament. The constituency of football lovers and our love for football is not recent. In the past, we've had great uh, teams like uh, Malpo, Elete teams, and the citizenry just love football. And recently, Hearts of Lions also came on the scene. Uh, Pando people are just lovers of football. Now, there's so much football talent in Pando. I've organized galas in the past. And when you see the way they play, you are like, wow. This is, this is good football. And then also, people have come to me and said, look, we had the opportunity, if we had somebody backing us, we could have gone very far with football, but we didn't have support. We played so well, we played here, some of our mates are, then they mentioned like the top uh, football stars, we know their names in the country, they were my mates, they were my colleagues, but I didn't have anybody to support me, so I didn't go far with it. So here we are, I'm like, okay, if it's support, then I'm there to support you. I'm a lover of football myself. My son is a lover of football he used to play. So we are like, look, let's give them the opportunity and let's take this gala a step further. That's why this time we didn't just end with uh, enjoying the game, but we actually partnered with the uh, John Pintel Academy to um, do the games. And it, it was great fun. The, the guys played very, very well. She further explained that the idea was not to have fun, but to also give these talented players some level of exposure to explore beyond their communities. Give them that exposure in which they had, they had a lot of exposure. Um, and then also to, um, also it became necessary after the gala to say, look, you have so many talents here. Why don't you start a, a football club, uh, basically for Kwando, with Kwando players? Uh, as the majority of people. So that's that's what the aim was. So initially it was to select uh, 25 players. 20 would be for the um, new team, the Aquini Stars. Yeah. And then um, five would go to the John Paintel Academy for polishing. But in the end, uh, there was so much telling that uh, 45 people were selected. It was even difficult to let go of the rest of the people they had actually pinpointed. In, in the end, I think they identified 63 star players wow. and they had to like trim it again, trim it again, and then uh, finally left with uh, 45 players. So the Akpini Stars Football Club, we have 40 players for now. Meanwhile, this is the latest update on the players. We, we had, um, they had a week's rest because it was a hectic two-week um, play. So we had a week's rest. Yesterday they started uh, training again. So they are doing trainings. We're going to be doing friendly matches with other teams to like really strengthen them because playing against the ex-Blasters was a big thing for many of them. And they, they played fairly. They played very well. I mean, people thought the ex-Blasters were going to whip them with several goals, but it didn't happen. I mean, it was tough even to get the Black Stars to take a to equalize the first goal that the Akpini Stars scored. It wasn't easy. And then even to get them to score a second one wasn't easy as well. I mean, um, but for a, a few things, the, the, the Akpini Stars would have, would, have, would have trashed them rather. Okay. Yeah.